okay guys let's have a quick conversation let's talk about the people in um singapore it seems as though some fans are not happy that their faves did not go for this particular trip yeah and these fans are not even hiding it so i'm even wishing so there's this post i swore this particular post and this person is saying that Ilepaye, Messi, and others they, they will be going on a trip on the 19th of this month she said Messi aka cross mike Ilepaye on the premium trip on the 19th of this month i trust cross to give us update mike is there also that's not true if you see this post that's not true what the person is making reference to is what Messi was holding the passport and that is um kim opera's invitation kim opera has a show coming up keep it going her travel show and i think that is what it is there's no trip whatsoever i understand how you want your faith to be part of the happening thing right now is the trip in singapore that is popping Messi he has traveled to different parts of the world. I don't think going on a trip should be a problem. So there's no point coming up and fabricate fabricating things. Hello, not needed. Okay, let's talk about this people fighting. This Nzamzi people are very spicy, very spicy set of people, and they're giving it to themselves as a day hot. I made a video before now, and I told you guys about what um. Blue of Ever said, I said I was going to expatiate on that. Yeah, Blue Ever said, I'm out here thinking of ways to copy simple. Yeah, and that simple is um, is Tati's brand. Yeah, Tati released her gym wear. Let's even have a look because um, Kosti replied, Blue Ever. I'm going to get to that. So let's have a quick look at this thing that you're dragging about. If because I had said before that there is a huge similarity, but well, having a closer look at it, I think they are similar, just a tweak in the design, just a little tweak in the design. Yeah, have a just look at it closely. The similar, just little little tweak in the design. So given that um, Tati's own stuff came out before, I think what's the name? I think Kosi released hers yesterday or so, if I'm not mistaken. Tati's own came out. October 14th or so, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So given that Tati's own came out before um Kosi, Kosi's own, they've dragged Kosi. They said Kosi copied. And Kosi made a video. Yeah, she made a video and spoke about people copying copying people's design. I think I would play this video for us to hear what she has to say. I don't know if she was making reference to that particular allegation or it was something else. Yeah, this very short video clip let's hear what she has to say you know what people can steal my ideas but it's still not them it's me it's it's me like so that's the difference you can take my ideas but when i do it it's like i'm doing it and you can still the little idea but you're not gonna execute the same way the proof is in the pudding hey now hey now hey now <laughs> Bye guys, bye, bye, bye. So I don't know if she's talking about what is happening. I have no idea. I don't know because I've not really, really been, been following these people. Chica. So now let's talk about Kosi replying um Blue Eva. This is what she said. She said, Have you seen how good hold on? Hold on, let me pull it up. It just went off. Okay, she said, have you seen how good God has been? Shh. I'll be mad to forgive me cupcakes. But there is a thing. He loves us all. His mercy and grace isn't enough for us all. No need to be bitter or shady. Shady. Hmm. Someone just shaded her. She cut herself. Rich Durban tonight. Let's pop some champagne. On a lighter note, we clearly have stalkers and scared you all. So she's throwing this one at blue eva calling blue eva a stalker and saying that there's no point for anyone to be shady because that because god loves them all <laughs> these people don't take subs sitting they come back at you they come back 
okay speaking of people coming back and people replying they are very very swift when it comes to things like this they reply like almost immediately hmm. let's talk about the madness that is happening i don't know is nalisa okay is nalisa okay the very first time she cried out accusing kusi i'm like okay okay that's a big one they need to be serious about this and i almost thought kosi was at fault i didn't know that this lady something is wrong with her upstairs honestly and i was waiting for the court case i was like okay let's hear let's hear the full story but up to now i don't know what's going on Chike. so nalisa according to the story went to a tattoo place and wanted to get a new a new tattoo she asked the person making the tattoo i don't know what they call the, the people that draw tattoos she asked the artist okay the artist yeah tattoo artist to um put a tattoo on her back any any other person but temba she didn't want temba and according to her that was the reason why she wrote temba's name so he would remember not to put temba's name if i if that's the case so all these things were videoed yeah we videoed the tattoo man finished and the man ended up drawing temba's name you know what let's watch this video yeah. put some holes on yeah. your top yeah. Now we don't make the air force. Show them the paper. Show them the paper. There's the paper there. Air force. Yeah. No, they can't see it. I'm so concerned. So okay, you, she said show them the paper. They can't. They can't see. So after the tattoo had been drawn, this is her reaction. You want to put the name of the nigga that can abuse me on my body? Yeah. Okay, not just them by alone. She said the internet. I also guilty, guys. Are you people part of the people abusing on the internet? Me, I want to know. I don't know. It's always one story or the other. Not just regular story. Weird stories when it comes to Nelisa. I'm wondering if everything is okay with Nelisa. Honestly, the there was a certain guy in the room where she was lying on the bed the guy came online and i was explaining what happened i'm not sure if i'm going to play the video but i think this is just the summary of all that happened so temba being accused of abuse and all that he felt the need to come online and clear his name like i said these these exams people are swift they don't sw store mm -mm. as you call them they come out immediately like always active and i love them for that so yeah this is what temba had to say because she just did not stop at making saying it in the video she said do you think i'll tattoo a person who hurt me physically and emotionally on purpose this is her asking people on twitter because she got roasted on twitter so people are saying that she did that on purpose guys before i even get to the part of temba talking and defending himself what was the meaning of that no let's look at it what was the meaning of that that um that she did what was the meaning of that first you had his name written on the paper and then you told this guy to tattoo his name not his name according to you to tattoo any other person's name but temba's name and then you recorded you, you recorded it why why did you record it why did you have to show us all this why did you have to write the name and you were like show them show them why I know fine some people might be like oh she's trying to carry her her uh, what they call it her fans along to get that but to me i think this is a well orchestrated stuff well planned out she she's always cloud chasing and let me read this comment this comment made me laugh someone said hold on is it this one okay maybe not this one someone was like um you need to choose between melissa and fina always causing chaos on social media 
always always yesterday i've not even spoken about the one that fina did yesterday fina and blessing ceo all the edo people on the edo case it was chaotic yesterday and was it i think it started yesterday or two days back i've not even spoken on that next week fina every week fina is on the trend table every week now nelisa nelisa like i said she's always trending for the weird weirdest things like weird things honestly so now let's talk about temba but for me yeah, i think that oh, this whole stuff is planned well planned well planned and nelisa seems to be someone that is always anyways let's listen to what temba has to say i just want everybody to know because there are things said about me about i'm sitting in my house like i've been single for like since umpo of course because i don't have time for women right now to date sorry i am not dating the lisa i just want to say that about and i've not laid a hand on nelisa i'm guessing i'm thinking about it to nelisa i tried calling her to talk to her she doesn't pick my calls about but i'm not gonna blame her i think she's going through a mental breakdown honestly because you know being away from for three months boy and then things are happening I, i've been through what uh, i've been i've seen a couple of people like me and i had to go through it with them but right now i want people to know that if you're not physically mentally strong so if you're not, not mentally strong a show like that fame can screw you over you understand me uh, if you're not mentally strong fame can destroy you especially if you get it fast at all so i think she's going through a mental breakdown she'll come to sense uh, i don't know her uh, but i don't think she, like like i think she's gonna apologize to me because i've not touched nelisa i've not done anything to her yeah uh, one Foot money bag I say and I just saw the video, I thought somebody maybe because people may do these things. But I can see she's actually saying this. But Nelisa, wherever you are, Joe, can you please, Joe, please, please, please clear things up with people? Yeah, boy. I'm not trying to fight to Nelisa Buffet. But I've worked out to be where I'm where I'm at. I took the shits that came to me from people. And I said nothing about the people who brought the shits. But uh, some my my I worked hard on my show. My show I worked hard. I put my life out, né? and then I was holding myself back because I wanted my show to continue. My stuff is about to happen. Uh, I can't speak about the show, but I've been quiet, Mina. So I don't think she's gonna say anything bad because his sisters. Please, please, please tell the truth to the people, clear things up. If somebody edited the video or maybe there's a misunderstanding, clear it up. Because hey, go the lang for my corner of a too. Who said do the lang ya corner? I'm about to do what I've wanted to do. I worked hard to get us uh, to sorry to I worked hard to get that show. Can talk about season two. So I'm not about to lose this because of a false statement. I think it's a mistake, Nelisa. Can you please fix it? Yeah, bro? I I just thought I would say in Kulu Melentole because yeah, would you I imagine you wake up and there's like physical. First of all, you're getting a tattoo of me. The stencil is made there. Good stencil, lesson zero. A tattoo artist will not put a stencil paper on you without showing you the stencil paper. So clearly, she knew that my name is being tattooed, Lana. For what to stop my show? Sorry, it's gonna stop my my my. I can't. Okay, it's gonna stop the stuff that I worked hard on. I'm too close to the end. I'm too close to the end, and too many people have been with me and still have faith in me. They will never regret. Time to reap. There's time to take shit and time to take glory in the cup. So now is my time to shine full tip because I took a lot of shit. I'm not about to take shit from nobody. Nelisa, please, 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 my sister. Um, God bless you even.
but the truth will set you free. I've never touched any Lisa show. I've never touched anybody, matter of fact. A lot of things I did not do were said about me, but I took them. Manjelena, hey, 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 take, I have two kids, man. I'm not about to take this now again. This is not happening. Nintana, don't give a God bless you. They will tell Magdalena, say, BC. Guys, I'm sure you've heard from Temba and I really feel for him. You see how he was emphasizing on his show. He has a show that is about to be released. He said he's been working so hard on that show and he's not about to lose it. So that is his own focus and the accusations are heavy. Heavy, heavy. Ah, uh -huh. I don't know, I don't know. Someone needs to stop Nelisa. Someone needs to stop Nelisa. This is getting out of hand. Someone needs to stop Nelisa. She can't be coming online and accusing people and not with little accusations hefty accusations and these accusations can ruin people's um, reputation their business their brand and all that i don't know how things work in south africa but i feel like someone needs to stop nelisa this is getting out of one i understand her family has money i understand they are well um placed in the society but that does not give her the the room to go ahead and accuse people falsely i'm not even, okay i'm not gonna stay here and be the judge and say okay this is a false accusation but i don't know if it's a false accusation she needs to come out and set things straight straighten things up because it doesn't make sense if it's a if it's a false and um, false accusation like i said people's career brands and other things are on the line Anyways, guys, this is it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and definitely I'll see you guys in another one. Thanks for watching and bye.